everybody, welcome to my art studio. My name is Alvin Colon, also known as Acoma. Thank you for watching this and thanks for tuning in to my workshop. Uh, my last workshop, if you guys had a chance to watch it or to follow from it, it was an abstract piece that we worked on together um, doing acrylic abstract. And um, the whole purpose of it was to bring peace and love into your hearts. While everyone's at home right now dealing with the quarantine, we try to give you some good things to, to work on while you're home. And what better than art, right? So some of you guys do the music thing, some people do the dancing. I like to do all of them combined, but today you guys are gonna work with me and we're gonna work on one of the elements of hip hop and that's called graffiti. Graffiti art was one of the most important roles in hip hop because we had the, the honor and the privilege to document the culture. As the culture grew, graffiti art also grew. So a lot of people that were into using the spray cans got into illustration, got into graphic design, got into painting with acrylics, painting with oils, so on and so forth. So today we're gonna do a very fun graffiti style piece. I want you guys to get prepared so this is gonna be a list of things I want you to get if you wanna take this workshop with me. Put this on pause after you hear what I would like for you to get in terms of materials. Once you get a sketch pad, if you don't have a sketch pad, or your parents printer and take some paper from there. You can steal a few pages from there. Put them in front of you, get a, cut, get a pencil with an eraser. I want you to get a few markers or crayons, anything you have available that you can create at least three different colors in your piece. So get like three different colors or four different colors. It's up to you, the amount you want, but at least more than two colors. Um, we're gonna get right into it. So paper, pencil, eraser, and markers. All right, get all those things, put them in front of you. I'm gonna draw right here. In a few seconds, you'll see all that stuff that I asked for right in front of me. Okay, so go ahead and get that, and we're gonna start this piece, and I'll let you know how to do it step by step. Peace. Okay, guys, welcome back. Here it is, I have everything in front of me. I got my eraser. If you don't have one of these, it's all right. Whatever you have that you can erase with, go ahead and grab that. We have a pencil, pretty standard pencil. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, all right? Just remember when you're drawing, we want to draw lightly so that we can erase the lines afterwards. And then you want your markers. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything like this. This is pretty standard too. Um, I have a variety pack. There's, you know, there's a lot of colors in there, but I won't be using all of them. And we have a sketch pad, pretty large sketch pad. Once again, yours doesn't have to be like this. If it's bigger, that's fine too, or smaller. I would say keep something like this size or smaller, okay? I'll show you an example of a, a piece I did the other day, but don't think that we're gonna do anything like this. This is a little bit more complex. So this is the piece here that I made the other night. Um, it says coma. Coma is my name shortened. Took the A out, just put coma. So it's a, this would be a semi-wild style piece. Semi-wild style meaning you can almost read it. It's, it's a little wild and you can almost read it. So when you're, when you're doing graffiti, uh, many people that are really into graffiti style lettering, they either do a simplistic style so everyone can read it, or you wanna make a wild style to make it hard for someone to read. But when you're making it hard or wild style, you're making it in a, in a way that you can always break down the letter forms and the letter forms are still looking classic. What I mean by classic is you wanna make sure that the letters all have good rhythm to them, that they all make sense. If, if your name is Lisa, if your name is Rob, let's take Rob for instance. I'll show you really quick. The word Rob.
simple as it gets. When, now we have to make this graffiti style, right? So, meaning in a graffiti style, it's a, it's all about giving your letter form or your your name tag some edge. You want to give it edge, give it flavor, right? Like you want them to look like a, a really nice, cool looking sneaker, you know, something very fashionable. So it's all about giving your your letter styles fashion, okay? Giving it swagger. And uh, so I'll show you another. I'm actually gonna outline this in marker so that you you guys can see it. I'm only gonna outline it with marker when I know that the letter forms are gonna be something that I'm satisfied with, okay? So you don't wanna start using a marker and then you, you can't erase it later. So I'm just gonna give this a little bit of swagger. <laughs> cameras on the correct way that you can see the word raw. What I've done was I've given it serifs. So serif is just adding this little part right here to the letter and that gave it some character, right? So it's as simple as that, right? And we're still keeping it, we call this dead letters. Dead letters are a simple, it's a simple style to us graffiti artists. That's what dead letters are. They get a lot more cooler looking as you go, but I just wanted to make something really fast for y'all. All right, so when we come back, I want you guys to choose your name tag or whatever you wanna write. If you wanna like, if, if you like uh, lions, tigers, you know, anything. Any word you want that you think it's a cool word to use in a graffiti piece. Get that together now and then come back with all the things in mind with, that I just talked about and then we're gonna work on the next phase from this, all right? So get all your stuff together and let's, let's have some fun together doing some graffiti art, all right? See y'all soon. Hey, what's going on guys? So I got, um, I got a, a new sheet of paper in front of me and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna draw my name in graffiti style. Hopefully you guys have all your materials in front of you. And if you've chosen your word yet, I want you to sketch it out. Grab a pencil and sketch out a dead letter, right? A dead letter style name of yourself. If you remember what I was talking about, dead letters meaning like simple style, right? So just grab your name. You don't have to add any cool branches to your name like serifs, like what we spoke about. Just write your name very simple. And I'm gonna do the same thing. And then we're gonna pan back out and talk about it. And I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step what I did when we zoom back in, okay? All right, so go ahead and get that going. And I'm gonna do it too. And what I'll do is I'll put this on, on like a fast forward or something like that so that you guys can see me in action, all right? Everybody, welcome back. As you guys notice, um, I have this letter style. It says coma. 
Um, when I was first sketching it out, what I did was I noticed that I was drawing too lightly and um, I had to look at the camera and I saw that. So I apologize for those that weren't able to see what I was actually doing. But uh, I did re-outline it and I outlined it a little darker. But uh, as I said, you know, keep it light because you want to erase things that you don't want later. But for this instance, since I'm showing you guys this, I'll draw darker so that you can always see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is a very simple style. It says coma. I'll turn the page a little bit so you guys can see it. Um, what I use, because I wanted to balance, right? I wanted to balance this C with something. Normally I would do like this type of A. But in this instance, I did this A, right? And I did it in that style. Okay, so you see that? Instead of this A, I use this A. You can always play around with letters like that. That's the good thing about having the letter A in, uh, in your name. You have different choices of styles that you can use and um, you can add on to that. But uh, all right, so we're gonna get to adding flavor to this, to this style. So if you have your names in front of you and you had the chance already to draw it out, if you need help on, uh, on drawing it out, I can also show you a quick way because maybe that's what you're, some people might be struggling with that. So I apologize if this is moving too quick for you. But a quick, easy way for you guys to, to make your, le your, your name into a graffiti style you know, with thick lettering like this, right? Is, uh, all right. So I think it's an easy way to show you guys a quick example of how to pop this style out. So you, you wanna, you know, take each letter of your, of your name and draw each letter out and give it some space. So don't, if that's your name there, I don't, you know, you don't wanna do this and make it very close you wanna separate them, give them some space in between because now you're gonna make this a little bigger. So now you take the L and then you make it a little bigger, right? I'll go a little slower. If that's your S, I'll go like that. And you, what you're doing is you're basically gonna add another S in front of it. You know, so you, you just go with the flow of the letter itself and then close it in. Make it one solid. Instead of a line, you want a solid. So for the A, you notice I didn't give it the slash in the middle because we're gonna give this some dimension. So now, boom, you bring it up. Your slash would be here, right? So you give it a light little hit right there. Go all the way to it. And then you want to follow, you know, see what I did was I followed this form here, right? This line, you want to make another line and then turn it, make another line here and then close it in. And inside, you have the inside of the letter, okay? So there you go, that's a quick little way to, to get your name going. Doesn't have to be the best, all right? This is all for fun. We're all having fun. We're gonna give this, this letter style a little bit of flavor. I'm gonna step back at the camera and make sure that you guys are seeing what I'm seeing and we can still work together. Okay, so it seems like the camera's spot on. You guys have a good view here of what I'm doing. I'm gonna get rid of this here. get to the next phase. After I quickly explain to you what to do next, I'm gonna fast forward again. That way this video is not too long and you guys have a chance to, you know, just look at the video and, and do this project at home. Um, hopefully I've, I've been doing an okay job explaining how to get this going. And this is what we're gonna do next. All right, so I'm gonna take my name, right? 
Now we're gonna give it some flavor. Flavor to me will be like, all right, so I'm gonna give this a serif. If you have the letter C, you can go with me with this. Go like that. Just like a little loop. All right. So I did that, gave it like a little, it's almost like a little uh, anchor or something on your letter. Same thing here. Try to copy what I did on the left side. I'm gonna do it on the right. Everything is balanced. Uh, if you prefer not to be balanced, that's okay too. You know, I'm just here to show you guys what, what I do and just a quick demonstration of my type of graffiti. But if you have a style that you enjoy more, please feel free to do that as well try to capture some elements of what I'm trying to teach today. Okay, so I did that. Um, any letter in your name, you can add this to, okay? It just, it's not limited to my letters, to my name. You can do this with any, any letter at all. Maybe I'll do another video next time of the, the whole alphabet, and then you guys can pick and choose your letters from the alphabet. But that's a real quick way to give your, your letter form some style. And I can keep going into it, which I will. But for now, I think we'll stick with this. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my marker. And when I'm happy with all the little extra stuff that I add to this letter form, making it somewhat a little wilder, but I want you guys to still be able to read it. Then I go with the marker. And after I outline everything one time, very carefully, because I like clean lines, then I go back with the eraser and I, I erase all my pencil marks. That's what I always do every time I'm sketching out some, some letterings. Unless it's like a quick sketch that I'm gonna give someone a demo, I don't really care too much about uh, the, the pencil lines, pencil marks. All right, so we're gonna go fast forward. You guys are gonna see me working on this and I'm gonna give this some life, all right? So if you're at home and you're at this part of it now, get some markers in front of you. You can decorate your piece in any which way, okay? Uh, like, look at this one. This is an example of one I did. I kept the inside white and all I did was I pretty much outlined everything. Uh, I'll bring it closer to the camera you can see. So everything's outlined. So I gave it one quick outline in black, right? And then I went inside and I outlined in that gray, grayish blue color. And then I highlighted inside with a darker blue. And then I gave it a force field in this orange, kind of very bright orange color. You guys see that? So you can decorate it any way y'all want. There's no limit to it, all right? Just try to follow these standard steps to creating your name. But whichever way you want to color, if you want to make your, your, your piece look like a tiger stripe, you know, go look around, get some magazines, look in the magazines. That's also a way to find inspiration of how, how to color your letter forms. And also you get inspiration on letter forms itself. You know, you can look at different techniques that people use, not only just mine, all right? So gather whatever you need, or if you're happy with what you got now, let's start outlining this and then erase your pencil marks. I'm gonna go fast forward. And all right, I look forward to seeing y'all during the next process, all right? So stay tuned and hopefully y'all having fun, because I am too. guys so I 
quickly gave it a good outline there. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I'm gonna zoom in closer and you'll see my pencil marks inside my marker marks. When I was outlining, some of the things that I tend to do is when I'm outlining, my outline changes because I'm, it's just flowing better for me. So if you see that your pencil mark isn't where your outline is, that's fine, okay? It's not always gonna be perfect. For me, where my pencil marks were, I wasn't happy with it, so I changed it while I was outlining it. That's something a lot of artists do. And that's because we're getting another phase, another pass onto what we just sketched. So many times when you, you get your second sketch going or your second outline, you start to change things because it starts making more sense for you. All right, so I'm gonna give this some more color. If you're at this phase now, start to give this some color and then we're gonna 3D it and then the video's over, okay? We're not gonna make this a very long video. Uh, I think this will be enough for you guys to work with. So take a good look at that. If you got your outline going, don't worry if it ain't perfect, okay? We're just trying to have fun with some graffiti. You can keep replaying this video later and make your piece just as better, okay? All right, so we'll fast forward again and we'll talk shortly. Okay, let's talk about this a little bit, all right? I don't want to move super fast and you guys are like, hold on, slow down. I'm going to zoom in. All right, let's talk about this. So I thought of the contrast of the yellow with the orange. You can do any contrast colors you want, okay? This is something I chose. And I, I, what I choose is also to leave some of the white inside the lettering. So if you can see that really good there. And what's going on with the orange, this is a technique a lot of us graffiti artists tend to do. And it's called like a splatter effect. All right, we, we could do it inside the piece, inside the letter form or outside, okay? This is an example of like a paint splatter inside the piece. It's a little thing we do, you know, as part of, uh, you know, graffiti culture. You're always gonna see it. You know, it's a technique used since the 70s. And it reflects on paint splattering. And that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the piece. You'll see it. You know, I'm gonna add it some in there, in the O, some on the M, and some on the A. And then we'll move to like, I, I talked about doing some 3D but I think that'll be for the next video. For this one, we're gonna do some easier, which is like a, a shadowing effect. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward again, and you guys will see this in action. You see the splatter happening. And all right, cool. Hope y'all having fun. Let's get going.
see how I work it out at a uh, normal time, okay? So if you're doing a drip effect, the splatter effect, if you notice, I left a little negative space in here. I'm not gonna get too deep into this, but if you see on this drip here, you see how I left a space that's negative. I didn't color it orange all the way. The reason why I did that is because I was planning ahead and I wanted to give it kind of a real life, uh, a real life effect as if it had a little shine on it. You know, many times you'll see a drip and there's always a glare, there's a shine when this light is casted onto it in slow motion, obviously. So that'll be a little glare effect. You don't have to do that. I just like doing that. If you can do it, if you've already uh, kind of uh, done what I've done so far, more power to you, okay? So we're gonna go to the next step is we're gonna give this some shadowing. Uh, hopefully we have enough time. Everyone's still with me. I didn't lose anyone. I'm gonna give this some quick shadow. I'm gonna put that on fast forward. I'm worried that this video might be too long. All right, we'll come right back. How uh, oh, I did a quick little shadow behind my word, behind my letter C for coma. So the letter C now has a darker blue right behind it giving it shadow. I'm gonna show you our very first word name that we chose was Rob. I'm gonna give Rob a shadow. That way it'll serve as a better example because I think this letter phone got a little bit too semi-wild style for many folks out there. Um, it's very simple to me, but it, it could be some, somewhat complicated. So I'm gonna demonstrate on the, the lesser complicated name, Rob, how we do a shadow. I'll do it on fast forward, and then I'll quickly explain to you guys what I did. Hopefully this helps you guys out on creating shadowing for your letters, for your names, etc., etc. All right, stick with me. Work on that for a few. And then we'll get back to the original drawing. Hey guys, welcome back. So hopefully you got your piece um, all done and you got your shadows going if you're not at that point yet don't worry take your time all right all of us have a lot of time we're all indoors and we're just looking for some interesting things to do and you know what better to do than some art you know so thank you very much for sticking with me and doing this graffiti workshop with me I'm gonna show you the piece that I did and hopefully you guys can do the same thing show your parents your friends what you created through this uh, online course so here it is that's my piece it says coma c-o-m-a that's my name and basically you got a semi-wild style meaning like if you listen to this video earlier i was breaking down what semi-wild style it is it's pretty much you know a little wild style but you can still read it so it's still legible so that's what Sunny Wild Style is. Giving your letters some character, some swag, some, you know, some pizzazz, whatever you want to call it, all right? So that's what I did, and I also gave it some drip. I'll bring it close. 
salsa. We gave the lettuce a little drip effect, you know, like a splatter or a drip. And then we gave it a nice dark blue in the background to give it that shadow and make everything pop up. And we'll also bring that first sketch we started, which is this one here. It says Rob. I'm just giving you guys a quick example of some very simple style that we call in graffiti culture, we call it dead letters. So this would be a dead letter, and you got a cool little shadow behind it. So if you was able to do that, I applaud you. You have just became a graffiti artist, all right? So hopefully you got a cool name like I do, and welcome to the hip hop culture of graffiti. Hope you had a good time with me. Once again, thanks for coming to my art studio. Check it out my video, and I'm having such a good time doing this for you guys. Hopefully you guys have a good time with me as well. All right, take care, God bless everyone. Peace.